Hello everyone, this is Jason, and I am about to let you into the world of my video editing for a live event. A couple people had asked uh, to see kind of how it was put together, and I did a couple tutorials a year or two ago, and I thought I would continue with this. So my current project is the Columbus Gay Men's Chorus concert that was called Broadway Bound, and um, we filmed it over a period of three nights. Uh, we recorded the dress rehearsal, the Friday performance, and Saturday performance. So as an editor, the best thing that you can have are options. And But it's also, in this case, making the project just a little bit more complex. So um, I've already um, created what is called a multi-clip. And a multi-clip is one clip that contains multiple camera angles all at once. So as you see up in the left-hand corner of the screen, we've got the four camera angles that we have. And basically, I picked a certain night for this last number to use, which is the Friday night performance of Underground. Now, the reason I did that, you kind of look at all the footage, and the night that we had for uh, Saturday one of the uh, camera angles was kind of blown out with the brightness. Um, as you see here on the, the left hand side that or that bottom corner, uh, it was just a little too bright in this number, so chose to go with um, Friday night's performance. So that part of linking all the clips that you know that's already done. So what we're gonna do now is try to pick the best angle as the song progresses and a lot of editing is just planning ahead. So we filmed on Thursday night, so I have these great uh, behind the, not behind the scenes, but different angles that we get during the live show. But in order to be efficient in editing, you kind of have to go ahead and, and mark those particular sections that you want to use so that when you come across them, you know when to use them. So we've got here, um, the front row, uh, uh, Brett Gamble and Mark Langford doing some opening moves, so I'd like to throw that in there. Then we have kind of a uh, uh, angle from high above on stage left in the first verse. And then I'd like to use this, which is um, some of the dance break hits. I've marked that. Um, here's a little bit of the pony from that off angle. And then we've got a great shot here of Brad. So, of course, we want to throw that in there. We've got some solo footage here of Ben, um, and then some very, what I call, intense song ending from David Hayes. So that's pretty intense. Um, and then we've got some of the bow, bow movements. So here we go. I know I need to use those and a couple other shots I want to throw in there from other nights. So here we go. We're going to start the recording. My goal with um, producing any kind of video of a live event is my intention to bring that energy and that experience of the audience member um, to the video production and actually go a step further and give the uh, video audience an inside look that you maybe can't get uh, from just the live performance, uh, getting those alternate angles. Um, and as the editor, I kind of I choose where the focus goes. So you have to know the source footage very well uh, to know uh, what to highlight in different parts of the song. So I'm bringing you along here. I have not uh, done any of the cuts yet of this particular song. So you're going to see me in action uh, pick the, the shots and, and use the particular editing program I have here, which is Final Cut Pro uh, 7. There's a new version out, but we won't go into that right now. Um, so let's start here with uh, the start of the song. And I think we'll start with uh, what we call a wide shot of kind of the entire stage and see where it takes us. Okay, so I just realized again that that shot's maybe not the best to start out. Um, kind of, we need to go immediately to um, one that isn't going to be zooming in, so we'll start it again here. 
Okay, we're gonna go to that shot. Okay, so we do want to head to Ben as soon as he starts singing. I've got a good angle there in camera one. So right on that beat, we gotta cut right to him. There we go. And let's go to camera four. Go back to the group, because we're doing some movement. Oop, kind of went to the wrong camera there. Let's go back to that one. Okay, I kind of realized I wanted to go a little bit quicker to Ben during that, so let's re watch that again. And right about there, I want to get a close-up of Ben, so we just kind of do a more precise edit there. And again, at that point, anytime we have the choir doing a, a big move, uh, we kind of want to highlight that, so kind of go back. Let's figure out the point to do that. Right about, oops, right about there, but I hit the wrong camera angle, which we'll fix there. That was good. Okay, keep on moving. Okay, so at this point, I'm at one of the sections that I wanted to use a, um, a clip from a dress rehearsal. So let's go back a little bit, kind of give us a new angle halfway through this segment. And again, didn't want to go there, I wanted to go to that angle. Okay, and this is the point we're going to a Thursday night clip. The, the interesting thing that we have to do is making sure that the tempo matches from night to night and their mouths are in sync. So, um, we've, I've had pretty good luck with doing that. Sometimes I have to retime the clip and slow it down or speed it up so it matches. Uh, but we'll see how this night compares. So let's listen to the point that I need to paste them in here. So I think I have the moment there, and so right before they say we're going. So we'll mark that in. Okay, so we'll mark that out. And make sure my tracks are uh, marked of where to paste them in. So let's uh, do that right here. Let's see how we did. The, not too shabby. I think if I cut the clip, uh, we really won't need to mess with it very much. So I'm going to take the sound away from that clip so it doesn't bleed through. Uh, so we only have one audio angle of the original performance. And let's listen to it that way. I think that's what we want to use, so I'll just trim it right there. And I think I may want to start it just a little bit earlier than that, so let me listen to it again. Okay, just by a split second, kind of paste that there, okay. Okay, so let's see what camera angles we've got going on here to go back to let's, let's see how this if it makes sense to have one close-up of them and another close-up of the same couple let's look at that 
Yeah, that's a little odd. So let's go to another section of the stage. Looks good. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, I kind of like what David Hayes is doing there with his partner. Let's see if we can throw that in there. And let's go to the wide shot and see what the whole chorus is doing there. Let's watch that again. See if we go to camera four. So let's see. I think I'm at another point where I want to use something from Thursday. So let's take a look at that. I think it was a side angle. Yep, so let's listen to the audio of where we can um, fit that in. So it's right after Amen. Okay, so we find that section here. Okay, paste that in there. Again, we do the same thing, try to see how the audio syncs up. Not too bad, let me listen to it one more time. Again, I think if we keep a section of it, uh, it will sync just fine. Maybe cut it right there. Get rid of that audio. And watch it one more time. I think we need to go just a little bit quicker. Okay, I just um, remembered there was an extra camera angle that we had from Thursday. Uh, we had someone on the um, left side of the audience, and I just found a little interlude uh, while we turned around uh, that I want to paste in here. So I'm going to watch that section. And that'd be a good angle to kind of paste in between. So I gotta match the audio. So kind of after the little trumpet goes da 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 da. We'll find that in the performance. Right about there. Uh, so let's paste that in. Oops. Made it too long. Let's see how that came out. That worked good. There's a little bit of extra frame from the other angle in there. So let me take out the audio. Watch it again. I think that cut well. Let me kind of look at it one more time. Yep, that works. So, back to where we were. Um, there's a little aberration or continuity error that I just noticed. I think I'll leave it in because uh, I really like this angle. Um, the matching of Mr. Phil there in the corner, um, his arms uh, don't match. But as we watch it, um, people may not notice that unless they just watch this tutorial. I mean, I could, well, let me see if I can end the clip quicker and maybe it wouldn't be as noticeable. Yeah, that's not as noticeable, so Phil, you can thank me later.